All right, real quick, guys. I got 10 minutes. I got a speed dial here. Uh, Donald Trump. Yeah, I know. Most people are sick and tired of me talking about Donald Trump, their Lord and Savior. Anyway, uh, you know, it's all over the news, man. What if this guy gets convicted on these? Once again, now, all politicians should be, going, should be in jail, not just Donald Trump. Okay, every single one of them should be. So how they can point their fingers at him as being guilty <laughs> when they're all guilty, I have no idea. But anyway, guys, what if he gets convicted and goes to jail? Is there going to be riots? Um, you know, whatever. Just, as far as I'm concerned, guys, it's all planned out. Uh, if he doesn't get convicted, there's probably a 99.9% .9 chance he's going to get elected president. So all the worshipers and people, you know, that believe that he's going to lead them to the promised land. Uh, once again, guys, same old crap. He's talking about draining the swamp again. When he did it the first time in his first term, uh, Hillary's going to jail, Bill's going to jail, everybody's going to jail, and nobody went to jail. In fact, after he got electric, elected, Hillary is a good person. You know, he said that on several occasions, how good of a person she is. Once he got elected. So anyway, just nothing but lies. Just like all of them. They all lie, lie, lie. Anyway, man, I got a question for you guys. How many of you people have known somebody and you might have known them for a week, a month, a year, five years, 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, like my ex-wife. And then you knew something was really, really dark about them, but you never could put your finger on it. And then later on, or somewhere down the line, they say something, they slip out the tongue, they do something that exposes just how evil they are. All your politicians do that. Uh, Donald Trump has done that, and I'm going to get to that in a minute. I'm going to say it again because I've said it a million times. I'm going to say it again. But anyway, man, I used to know this guy, and he's studying to be a doctor. This guy is the deepest, darkest, most satanic evil dude I think I have ever met in my life. I found it out after about five years. Just how evil this dude was. And my ex-wife. You know, she was Satan's sister. Found that out after 17 years. But anyway, man, this dude was evil to the core. And, you know, I knew something was wrong. Took me about three, four, five years to figure this out. But, uh... That's how long it took, guys. And, you know, this guy, what if he becomes a doctor? You know, the, the patients are going to love him. The other doctors and nurses and the staff are going to love this guy maybe, right? And they don't even know just how evil and dark and demented and sick in the brain this dude really is. You know, that's what I'm trying to tell you guys. You know, I mean, these, these politicians and these people that are running for office, Donald Trump. Do you know that his ex-wife told a reporter one time that actually was talking to Donald that he kept a book that Hitler wrote called Mein Kampf or whatever, which translates into My New World Order or something like that. And I guess Hitler wrote the book and Donald Trump used to keep it on his nightstand and read it every night. That's what his wife said. And anyway, this reporter asked Trump about it. And Trump said, who told you that? Right away, he's on the defensive because he knows he's busted. Uh, you should not be reading a book like that. If you do, you got some shit going, excuse me, you got some crap going on in your brain and you are dark, okay? Anyway, Donald Trump admitted at that point, because he already knew he was busted, he ain't going to lie about it, uh, that a friend gave him that book. Okay, now, let me ask you guys something. Whether he was lying about where he got the book from, he could have bought it online at Amazon by himself. Or what kind of friends do you have that are going to give you a book that is written by Adolf Hitler on how he tortured people, killed people, controlled people, and had a vision for a new world order on how he was going to run the world? Like uh, North Korea, China, and Russia, all these countries that already do. You know, who would read such a book? And if you are reading such a book, what kind of friends do you have? As Donald Trump explained, what kind of friends do you have that would give you a book like that? And then you take it and you're reading it night after night after night after night. Okay, so that's, you know, if you guys cannot see how demented and twisted and dark somebody's brain has to be in order to do such a thing. Because Adolf Hitler was evil, man, to the core. Why would anybody want to read what this guy, how this guy was killing people, how he was torturing people, uh, 
and his plans on how to how to rule the world. Why was Trump reading that book? Okay, that should concern everybody that is voting for this guy. That is deep, dark shit. Excuse my language, man. And then, um, once again, when he went to North Korea, now we got Kim Jong-un. Kim Jong-un is Adolf Hitler Jr., but he, he he doesn't hide it, man. He just comes right out like Adolf Hitler does, and he, ru he rules his country just like Hitler. Okay? Trump goes over there and shakes the guy's hand and then later says that, you know what, he admires how Kim Jong-un makes his people bow down to him and, and, and how he has a strong rule over his people by killing them. The guy kills his own family, just like Adolf Hitler. Trump, he flat out said he admired that. And then he wishes that the people of America would bow down to him the same way that Kim's people bow down to him. So if you guys can't pick up on the vibration there of how evil this dude and how twisted his mind is, and that he is part of this satanic new world order, because that's what it's all about. Adolf Hitler was all about the New World Order. So are all these Satanists. So are all these Freemasons. Trump is right in there. You ever see when Trump sits down and he's having a press conference, he puts a little, the Freemason symbol on his hands down there by his waist. He does it all the time, just like the rest of them do. He always does that, man. He'll make the triangle down there by his waist with his hands. They all do it. All the Freemasons, they all put up their signs and symbols. He does the same shit. Anyway, if you guys cannot see, you know, you're, you're going to get it. You're going to find out the hard way, man. You are going to find out the hard way what this dude is all about. If he gets elected or gets thrown in jail, whatever's going to happen, I'm telling you, it's all planned out uh, to keep everybody involved in politics one way or another. Everybody's voting. Everybody's going to go crazy. They'll bring in whatever, man. It's all planned. You know, if he gets thrown in jail and there's all kinds of riots, well, they'll just bring in the military. The UN, you know, for uh, peacekeepers and then just take over with the military. Probably start putting people in FEMA camps. Who knows? You know, it's all planned. They want order out of chaos. That's what the Satanists want. They're going to create chaos and they're going to bring in order with the military and the UN and all that crap. We've all heard that. Anyway, man, you guys, I don't know how many times I got to say it, but the guy is dark and demented and twisted. If you can't see it, you will find out sooner or later. Okay, anybody who reads a book by Adolf Hitler, anybody who thinks that Kim Jong-un is a good guy, you are sick and demented and you're twisted. Okay, that's all there is to it. Nothing but a liar. Nothing but a demon. Nothing but Satan. Period. Amen. Peace out. Take care. God bless. Have a great day.